the Steelers are hitting a point where they should consider a wide receiver trade. And somebody tossed this out there the other day on this show. We talked about it. Then we talked about it again yesterday. Today, we're going to talk about it three days in a row, the trifecta of Adam Thielen. Unhappy in Carolina. It's very evident that everybody is unhappy in Carolina. Unless they come out and score 60 points against whoever they are playing in week three, I'm sorry, but they will immediately start jumping ship. They will trade everybody and anybody that they possibly can, and if the Pittsburgh Steelers are serious about a wide receiver, they should call and see if Adam Thielen is available. He is a veteran. He is a proven pro bowler. He makes plays in this league. He is a reliable set of hands. He can still get open, and quite frankly, he's 10 times better than anybody else you have on your roster outside of George Pickens, Pat Fryermuth, and maybe Darnell Washington, but you know, we'll talk about that uh, in a different way. When it comes to Thielen, I think that is a, a great sleeper option for the Pittsburgh Steelers. But I also think that the Steelers are hitting a point right now where week three, week four, we're starting to get to the point where turnover is going to happen. You got to make moves. The Pittsburgh Steelers are somewhat putting themselves in a corner to where it's, okay, after Sunday, we're halfway to the trade deadline. You have four weeks to get things together, to make a move, to find a, a trade suitor to bring in a wide receiver. And if I had to guess when it's going to happen, I would say next week is a really good spot for it to happen, especially if Van Jefferson and them do absolutely nothing this week because you just got to look at it and say, I mean, there's just nothing going on here. There's there's nothing worth sticking with the group that you have. The Steelers were all in on a wide receiver all offseason. Why not stick with that that same method? What would have changed with four or three really bad games from the guys that you were banking on showing you anything at all? In my eyes, go get Adam Thielen after this week. But I think that's when the urgency starts is, is Monday morning. You better start making phone calls. And uh, I mean, I'll ask you, at what point do you think that we hit this this crossroads where other teams are making moves and the Steelers are kind of falling behind? I mean, it is coming up pretty quickly. If you're the Steelers and you want to get this guy in sooner rather than later to get him acclimated to the new team, acclimated to the playbook. And I think when you're looking at it, if you get to week, what, 10, and you're running Pickens, Thielen, and a healthy Roman Wilson, I think that's miles better than anything we've seen so far this season. I mean, people forget. They'll say Thielen's older, and he is older. Yeah. But the Steelers don't need a number one receiver. The Steelers don't need the future of that position. That is firmly in the hands of George Pickens as of right now. You need a number two that is capable of getting open and scoring touchdowns. And that's yep. what Adam Thielen does. And I know Carolina stunk last year and they stink again this year. But Adam Thielen had over 100 catches and over 1,000 yards. You're not expecting that from him as a number two in Pittsburgh, but you're certainly going to have levels above what you're getting out of Van Jefferson right now. And I don't want to say anything about Roman Wilson because we haven't seen him and I have high expectations, but it's certainly levels above what you've seen from the number two and number three positions out of the Steelers wide receiver core to this point. What's up, guys? It's football season, and we've teamed up with DraftKings. Right now, new customers who bet $5 will receive $250 in bonus bets instantly. Plus, you'll receive one month of NFL Plus Premium. It's hard to think of a better way to celebrate fall weather, your favorite jersey, and Sunday touchdowns than with the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Download the DraftKings app and use our promo code ALLSTEALERS. That's $250 in bonus bets instantly and one month of NFL Plus Premium after betting just $5. Stay in the action and use your $250 in bonus bets to bet anytime touchdowns on DraftKings. DraftKings is the place to bet touchdowns. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry. You could still join in on all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy and have the shot to win cash prizes. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use my promo code ALLSTEALERS and bet just $5 on any wager and get $250 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code ALLSTEALERS only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Yeah, I look at you could Adam Thielen is a sneaky one on a list that's probably much higher than you expect him to be. There are a lot of names that are probably in that Adam Thielen little group of like it's not going to cost a whole ton. What would you send Carolina for Adam Thielen? Fourth round pick, 
fifth round pick. Like he's not going for anything. He wants out of there. He's going to make it clear as the Pittsburgh Steelers call. First off, this is how the conversation goes. They're calling Dave, whoever the GM is over there. They're probably calling David Tepper. If we're going to be honest. They're probably calling Dave first and saying, Hey pal, remember us? Yeah. Thanks. Let's talk. Let's have a business conversation. Then they're going to speak to the GM. If the GM says no, what they're going to do is they're going to call Adam Thielen's agent. They're going to let it be known that they want Adam Thielen. And that is immediately going to be like, okay, Adam, let's have a conversation. This is the agent. Okay. Let's have a conversation because you could stay in Carolina where, I mean, you might not even have a quarterback in a couple of weeks, or you could go to Pittsburgh where they are potentially three and oh, they're looking good. They desperately need a wide receiver and they got two quarterbacks, not just one, two of them. So why would you not want to go there? And then it's going to become a, OK, well, let's have a conversation with the Panthers. And Thielen has a conversation with the Panthers that just races things up. I, I think that it could get I think Thielen makes a lot of sense just because you could make that happen. Like you can make that trade happen with almost no issues at all. And it's not going to cost a boatload of money, but there are those other names. I mean, you come week four. Okay. And the Denver Broncos are oh and four. What are, I guess the beginning of week five, the Denver Broncos are oh and four. You're telling me you're not going to consider trading Cortland Sutton. Who's on the last year of his deal for, for anything, not just a third, anything at all. And the Steelers would make that move. The Steelers would go out and get a guy like that. I mean, you could go deeper in that depth chart and get a guy there. There will be a bunch of names on these teams that stink. I mean, the Raiders snuck by with a win over Baltimore. That probably saved Devontae Adams from being out week four, week five. But I just think that we're approaching this. And I think week the day after week four is when we start to hit that wall of deals will be made. The Steelers should be the first to make them because there will be guys available. Teams are going to give up. That's a, uh, the chances. Your chances of making the playoffs at an as an zero and four team is nearly impossible. And a team like the Broncos, a team like the Panthers, a team like the Raiders, you will find yourself in a place where you are not looking to make the playoffs anymore. You know, you are now looking to build for the future. Trade those guys, especially guys over thirty. Get them out of there. Pittsburgh should be here for the taking and they should make it pretty easy. I'm saying the beginning of week five is when I'm making a move for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm I'm making a move tomorrow if they could get one. But I think after this weekend, you will have teams like the Panthers. Teams like the Broncos will start to heat up. Not yet for the Broncos, but they'll start to heat up. And then after week four, you'll have everybody. You'll have the whole slate of teams that are looking to make a wide receiver trade. And I think that's when a wide receiver trade happens if you had to put your money on it who would be your guess for the Steelers to land before the bye week I think Adam Thielen's honestly the the perfect prospect for that because we've talked John Mechie we've talked Traylon yeah. Burks and they are younger players certainly that have more future ahead of them but there's more unknown and I think what the Steelers want right now is somebody who they know what they're getting uh, and yep. I think Thielen is that perfect mix of you know what you're getting and you're not paying an arm and a leg for it because even if Devontae Adams comes loose even if Cortland Sutton comes loose. You're going to pay a little bit more to get them, especially if it's Adams or, you know, everybody said Metcalf as well. If he's available, he's available for a very high price. I think yes. what you get out of Thielen raises your ceiling enough and it does not cost you very much. I think that he is in that perfect middle ground of what you're getting versus what you're giving up. And I think that he's honestly the guy that I would think they're going to go after. I look at, I agree. I think that he is a, a name to start watching if you are the Pittsburgh Steelers. And Pittsburgh Steelers fans, because it, just like you say, he just makes too much sense. Get him here for a year cheap, spend nothing, let him try to win a Super Bowl with you guys. And next year you decide what you're going to do. And if he loves it here and he wants another season, cool. You sign up for nothing and say, come on, Adam, come back for literally nothing, <laughs> literally nothing. Come back and spend one more year in Pittsburgh. Let's try to win a Super Bowl. You just connected with George Pickens and Justin Jefferson and everybody else. Oh, and you could help our younger guys develop. I just think it's the perfect move for the Steelers. I agree with you. I think he tops my list as well. But Cortland Sutton is going to be on there eventually. And I think Devontae Adams is too. But Devontae is going to go for a pretty penny. Unless he makes his way. Like he might start complaining enough or he gets out of there. That's a real possibility. But I think he, Thielen is, is getting really, really close. 